Hi, I'm Chelsea Stratton from Chelsea Stratton Designs, and today you're here with me in my home sewing studio. I know we talked a little bit ago about doing a my own tour of my own sewing studio at home, and I'm really excited to share it with you because my space is a smaller space, and I talk about things, I'm going to talk about things today about how you can make a smaller space functional and work for you to get everything you need done for all of your projects and sewing, sewing projects that you have in mind. You've probably taken a look at my mom's home sewing room studio tour on the YouTube channel. And my mom for a very long time didn't have a large space that she does now. And that's kind of where I'm at in my quilting career. And my mom has a beautiful studio now that's large and holds, has room for all of the tables and different tools that she needs. But she didn't always have that, like I said, and that's kind of where I am. So I'm really excited to show you how to make a smaller space functional just for you. So today I'm going to talk about three main stations that can make a smaller space functional for you. The first is where you sew, where you keep your sewing machine and your sewing machine table. The second is a project area. And the third is a storage area. So I'm really excited to talk about those three things. Okay, so the first area of your sewing space that I would like to talk about is your sewing machine and sewing table. This is one of the most important areas of your sewing room. This is where you work on all of your projects and things that are ready to be sewn. So I wanna talk about this table really quick. You don't need a very large table in your sewing room. This was actually a vanity that my mom gifted me for Christmas and I eventually took the mirror off and it works so great as a sewing room table. It's sturdy and it gives me enough space to work. So this has been really, really awesome. I also, and it also helps if you have a table with drawers, I'm able to keep things in here that I need right on hand, like small scissors to cut threads, things like that. So I also want to talk about sewing machines. I used to have a Janome Gold and it worked wonderfully, but it was more suited for a travel machine and I was ready to upgrade. And so I've had a lot of questions concerning the new sewing machine that I've bought. And a friend recommended the Juki to me and she had a TL2000QI on hand and she said, why don't you try it out and see how you like it? And so I took it home and I have loved it and I ended up buying it from her. I think it works great, especially if you're looking for a powerful straight stitch machine. The Juki is absolutely wonderful. Something else that I do is I keep sewing projects on hand for me ready to sew with my machine. That way I can just sit down and sew. It's one of my favorite tips that I give. That way, if you wanna sew for 15 minutes a day, you can get started right away. So I really, really love this machine. I think it works great. This is obviously one of the most important spaces in your sewing room, but you don't need a large table to do it. And so a small table will work perfectly. Now I want to talk about another really important space in your sewing room, your project table slash cutting table. I love having a separate table to do all of my projects and all of my cutting. This table has been really great. It was actually a table that was handed down to my husband from his grandfather and it offers a lot of storage space. I try to look for things that offer me storage because I find that it's really important for you to have things on hand. If not, you could always find a table that you could put baskets underneath to store all of the items or scraps that you need. So as I said, you want to look for a table that is large enough to fit a cutting mat on. It makes such a difference to have a space that I can lay out the fabrics and um, cut everything that I need. I also keep a smaller wool mat for ironing and pressing things that are smaller. I have project, bo project boards. I also have a bag that I keep all of my notions in, such as scissors, seam ripper, rotary cutters, just to keep away from my kids. Normally on a shelf, I've set it on the table for you today. 
Also, I'd like to know, I did clean up my space for you today. It does not always look this clean all of the time. It's really important just to have a space that you can lay several different things down if you can fit it into your sewing room. I also want to share a cart from Ikea that I have. It has three different tiers on it and I'm able to keep rulers that I need on hand. Sometimes I'll work on Etsy orders and I'll keep everything that's ready to mail right here. And I have a few fabrics for projects that I'm gonna be working on as well in here right now. What's great is things that are in this cart, they always change and it's great to have that extra storage space around. I also keep a basket full of scrap fabrics next to my sewing room desk that we'll share a picture of for you. Whenever I'm working on a project and I have something cut out that has an extra scrap piece that's large enough to use for a separate project, I keep it in that, in that basket until I can sort it. Having a great cutting table is really, really important and it's totally possible to fit one in a smaller space and make it functional for you. I'm really excited to talk about this next section in my sewing room. I'm going to talk about these built-in bookshelves that I did. It was actually an Ikea hack because I really wanted floor to ceiling bookshelves without all of the extra cost. So everyone knows that Ikea bookshelves are a great way to save space and add storage for any portion of your home. So what we did is we bought three separate units of the Billy bookshelves, two medium sized units and one smaller sized unit. And we actually did our own custom molding on the bottom, the top and in between all of the shelves to give it a built in bookshelf look. It was very cost effective to do this and it gave me all of the extra storage space that I needed for my sewing room. I'm really grateful for my husband who was able to put this project together one weekend for me. This offers me so much more room to store fabric and notions and projects that I'm working on. So I want to dive in to storage ideas and organizational tips for using the bookshelves that we built. First, I wanna talk about how I store my scrap fabrics. I've talked about this before on our podcast. I found these bins at Walmart and they're perfect for fitting your scraps. So I organize mine by color and I line them all up on my shelves and when I need to work on a project and I need a specific print or color for certain projects, they're easy to get to and they're already organized. I do hope one day to organize them a little bit more by size, so hopefully I can do a video on that later on. I also found this fun basket at Target and it has three separate sections so that I can keep fabrics for a project that I'm working on right now. I love organization and so these give me lots of different um, space and things to work with while storing fabrics. You'll notice that I have filing bins and separate baskets up here. Any way that I can store fabric, keep things organized, that's super helpful for me. And it also helps that they all fit on the shelves. I keep my favorite quilting books here and fabrics that I love. And you'll also notice that up top, I keep one fat quarter bundle and one jelly roll of all of the fabric designs um, from each of the fabric collections that we've designed together. I keep patterns for Etsy orders here. That way they're easily accessible for me to grab while, pa while packing up orders. And my most recent fabric collections, I keep down here on bolts. That way, if I need to use them for projects, they're readily available for me. It's so important for you to have storage space, especially if you have a smaller sewing room to work with. I found that this really, really helps a lot. It saves space. So if you have a wall that you can fit any type of storage unit in your room to where you can stack storage up instead of forward, it saves you space in your sewing room so that you have more room to make your space more functional for you. 
So I hope you enjoyed taking a closer look at my home sewing studio. And I also hope that it gave you some ideas in making your own space more functional for you. If you enjoyed this video, um, please hit the like button or leave a comment below. We appreciate it so much and thanks so much for stopping by.